Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 12 of my Hardcore Let's Play. We're on episode 12 already, that's a little bit hard to believe. We have quite a lot of work to do today, so I suppose we'll get started. Let's start by going on our farms, actually, and doing just a little bit of farming. A few of you asked me to put pressure plates here, but that would mean that the villagers would be able to trigger it, and I do not want the villagers to be able to just freely go outside. They're... They're not quite at that level yet of intelligence where they can just be trusted to roam, unfortunately. So we're gonna keep them inside. This is the first episode that I'm gonna be recording from my grandparents' basement. It's nice to be able to set up here. My grandma has already offered me like 20 different types of cookies, um, but it's definitely different. I'm only having one monitor at the minute. My mic setup is a little bit different. So I apologize if the video does sound a little bit different than in previous episodes. I'm literally in a completely different room. So typically that messes with like sound and just, just all of the things, but I'm gonna try to have it be as consistent as possible. I am gonna get rid of these fields over here eventually, but there's no rush since at the moment I don't have anything to build over in this area. So I'm gonna just keep them and have extra farming. I'm gonna farm some of those as well. And we'll just have double the farming until I actually need to build up this area. There's no rush. Oh, it's getting nighttime. Gotta sleep, gotta sleep. Please, please, please. There we go. Can't forget about the potato harvest, of course. Oh, pig. <laughs> Um, I didn't mean for you to- oh, I forgot pigs like potatoes. Um, if I give you a potato, will you go away? Alright, I haven't harvested everything, but I'm kind of excited to see how much this gets me. So let's head inside and get our auto melon and pumpkin farm going, and then we can go ahead and trade with the farmers and see what we get. Now, I haven't checked on this in a little while, but I also haven't been AFK that much, so... Okay, you know what? That's actually not bad. I was expecting worse. Um, I need to make these into melons, please and thank you. Alright, cool. Not a bad haul. Again, this farm is super small. I'm never expecting much out of it. Um, we do need to expand it. We're actually kind of at a point where we could expand it now, because I have the I have the resources. I'm just lazy. It's just laziness at this point. It's fine. We'll get to it. Right, now where are my farmers? In the bakery, I suspect. Hello, farmers! Wow, how lovely to see you here. By the way, some of you ask how I fast trade like that, and it's just me pressing the space bar after every trade. That's all. Um, I have some melons for you, and some potatoes. Yes, thank you. What else do I have? Carrots. Where's my carrot trader? I know I have a carrot trader. They think they think that they can walk over this. I think the trapdoor is ruining it for them. Yeah, there we go. Uh, should I just take out the trapdoor? Trapdoors mess with villagers so badly. Gosh darn it, villagers. Why are you like this? I feel like for right now, I'll just take out the trapdoors, store some poisonous potatoes. All right, I need to find my carrot villager. Are you my carrot villager? You are, there we go. All right, so from that hall, we still have some stuff left over. We got 56 emeralds. That's pretty intense, actually. I'm quite happy about that. Let's go check on the librarians now because we do really need to upgrade the librarians. Excuse me, hello. I could probably do paper trades for them, to be fair. Um, the main thing that I'm looking at with these trades is how much this bar goes up. So when you, like, put something in, you can see it increase. So some of you have been wondering why I do one trade over the other. If it's only a one emerald trade, but it only increases it by, like, a millimeter or, like, something super tiny, then usually it's worth it to do a more expensive one and upgrade faster. For me, anyway. Got my sugar cane. Perfect. And I need to put away the rest of my veggies. Ugh, I could probably trade some of the ones that I have left over in here. Look, I have 64 carrots. Oh my gosh. So one of the questions I got was why I didn't trade the one emerald arrows instead of the bow. But if you see up here, the bow increases it so much, whereas the emeralds, like the arrows, they barely do. And it's only cost two more. So it's way more worth it for me to do these. It's expensive on emeralds, but emeralds are free, so... Not a big deal. Oh, cool. This one's got a glass trade. I'm gonna do some paper trading with the cartographer. Thank you very much for those emeralds. There we go. Now we have over a stack. I do just want to move our cartographer, though. Um, you come with me. So, I think that we can put their cartographer in the library, but just in this little shed off to the side, I think would be a great area to just set up a little desk. I'm gonna put our ocean explorer map that we used right there. Because I think that's so awesome. I actually forgot to fill it in the rest of the way. But I think that still looks really cool. And then maybe we do like a little chair over here with some signs on it like so. And then we can just fill in the roof with slabs to make it pretty. And I'm just going to use this to kind of put in some leaves. Because I think they would look really good with some greenery. Yes, I love it. 
Okay, so I know it's super tiny, but this is where the cartographer can come in and work now. I really like it. Perfect. We needed something in there. I also have this spare lectern, so I'm not sure if we have a jobless villager, but if we do, I'm gonna allow it to be another librarian. Now I just need to find my cleric. Um, hello, I have some rotten flesh for you. There you go. Oh, and I forgot to check last day. It upgraded, look at this. We can now get ender pearls. I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of these actually to upgrade it all the way. There you go, are you gonna be a master now? Cool, look at this. Oh my gosh, we can totally farm this as well to get emeralds. And bottles of enchanting are so cool. What the heck? I want to decorate with these. Now that we have an easy infinite source of ender pearls, going to the end just got quite a lot easier. The only thing that we need is blaze rods and we know where the nether fortress is. So honestly, that's not that big of an issue. We can probably get ready to find the stronghold reasonably soon. However, I'm not going to rush it. Um, I know that in the last episode, one of my top comments was literally, I hope Jem never goes to the end. <laughs> Um, um, don't worry, if we do go, I probably won't end the series off of that. I have a lot of goals that I want to do, and one of them is to have this village be raided by a high level raid. So that might be, like, one of our goals other than the Ender Dragon, you know? I like, there's other things to do after you beat the Ender Dragon, so if we survive it, there's no reason for me to end there. Looking at my valuables chest, why do we have one diamond in here? Regardless, we have a lot of saddles. Like a lot, a lot of saddles. <laughs> Why do we have so many saddles actually? And look at the horse armor that we have. We could totally get a couple of horses to ride around on in this plains over here. I mean, this is the perfect area to have horses. I can't believe I don't have any. Other thing that we need in order to tame horses is sugar. Unfortunately, I just traded away all of my sugar canes. So we're gonna have to wait for this to grow. Oh, I can harvest my cocoa beans though. In the meantime, I'll do a little bit more deforesting. Hopefully no creepers sneak up on me this time. I suppose before I go get the horses, it's probably also a really good idea to actually have a place to keep said horses. The only issue is this gate is not tall enough for horses. And I hadn't really thought about that, but you know what? It's not that big of a crime to just keep a horse outside the gate. I mean, that kind of makes more sense. We can have like a stable set up maybe over here somewhere, and then you drop off your horse and you'd enter the castle. That would make sense, I think. All right, now all I need is a little pen. And there we go. That'll have to do for Horsey Haven for right now. And I got a little bit of sugar cane, so I suppose now it is time to go off and find some horses. I'm gonna try to stay on land the whole way so that I can ride the horses back easily. And I think there was another plains biome just over here. So let's go explore. Okay, now I just have to decide which horse I would like to tame. I think they're all the same pattern. So maybe this one up here on the hill. Ooh, this one doesn't have very much health. Let's go see how much health the other ones have. This is a relatively slow horse. I'll be the first to admit. So maybe we'll try out the other ones and see if we can get a good fast one. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, let's see how fast you are. Oh dear. I think this horse is even slower than the last one, to be honest. No luck, no luck. Right, let's look further in the field and see if there are any more groups of horses. I do like those horses, they're beautiful, but I need a horse that's gonna get me from point A to point B faster than I can walk there. Otherwise, there's no point. Although, if we do ever want extra white horses to decorate and just have around our lovely castle, they would be really good for that. A knight always looks great on a white horse. Ooh, I see some more horses. Okay, perfect. Ouch, my ankles. Hello, horsies. Oh, they're beautiful. Jump test. Ooh, this one can almost do three. That's probably like two and a half. Cool, okay. And it's fairly fast. Okay, I like it. This horse is super fast. It's gonna be great for getting up this terrain. Look at this. Ready, ready, we could just jump. Oh, no, jump, yes. I like it. Now, in the interest of not struggling to get home, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make us a boat, my friend. Do horses like water? Um, here we go. Yeah, I feel like this is fine. We'll figure it out. It's not gonna break, right? <laughs> Aw, we're a good pair. Okay, now we just need to find this horsey a friend. This is actually really useful. I didn't realize that you could tow a horse whoop, in a boat like that. A 10 out of 10, very good. Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a village. Maybe there's horses in the village. Let's go check it out. I love these villages. Don't see any horses though. Right, you behave please. 
Don't mind me, just grabbing some hay bales. I'm not stealing, I'd, I'd never do that. All right, eyes peeled for horses. Oh, straight ahead. All right, let's go get those. Um, do you think we can jump a river? No, we can absolutely not jump a river. It was a really good attempt though. Oh, these horses are beautiful. Hello, can we be friends? Look, I, I have another horse. Oh my gosh, look at how fast this horse is. <laughs> I think it's slower than me. Can you jump at least? Ooh, okay, this horse is a jumper. This horse can jump over three blocks. Okay, that's interesting. So what if we bred this horse, which is a jumper, with this horse, which is super speedy, we'd get like the ultimate horse, wouldn't we? In theory. Okay, I'm gonna take both of these horses home with me. I feel like this is going quite well, to be honest. <laughs> Look at us. Oop. My bad. Hey, come on. I think this is my new favorite part of having horses. That they just like follow a boat so well. <laughs> you can take a horse anywhere in this game. This is so cool. All right, in the pens we go. There we go, one, and come on, there we go, two. Now all we have to do to breed the ultimate horse is keep trying with golden carrots. And I can get golden carrots for my farmer villagers. All right, farmer villagers, where on earth are you? Oh, here's a farmer. Hello, are you unlocked all the way? Oh, you are. Epic, okay. I will take 12 of your best carrots, thank you very much. All right, now let's see if I can get a fast horse that is a good jumper. Please. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how this works. Oh my gosh, the foal is so beautiful. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, what an adorable little family. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. I'm gonna just plop a chest right here for all of the horsey things. I also have a cauldron so I can put one of those out and use it for the leather worker. Not sure exactly where I'll want the leather worker, but I'm gonna shove it in the bakery for now. If you have a name for these horses, please give it to me. I would love to hear it and be able to name these. Now, it would seem as though the theme of today's episode is centered around farming. So I feel like we're gonna go ahead and just lean into that a little bit more and go ahead and work on our farm some more. I really like this area. I think it's gonna pull the entire thing together. And also it gives us an area to work that is more natural feeling than the big castle is going to be eventually once we get it built up. It'll be a nice contrast. So today we're going to work on the windmill out here. So we need a bunch of supplies for that. Probably some wood chopped down. The spruce trees are looking great some of that oak wood we chopped down earlier. You just gotta gather all of the things. Another thing that I really need is some granite because I have been building out of it. I'm just not sure we have any. Um, Let me see if there's any more to mine over here. Oh, it looks like there is actually. Okay, I'll just use this cave as a bit of a granite mine for now. I'm pretty sure you can craft granite, but I think it might involve quartz, so I'm not about that. I accidentally found an unexplored section of cave, and you know me, we have to explore it. And look, there's so much granite down here. It's like it was meant to be. Oh, and it ended. All right, well, that was fun. At least there's granite. All right, let's smelt up some of this extra iron that I just collected and go get to work on the windmill. I am actually in love with this door. I know that we just built it, but it's actually so extremely convenient to be able to run through that. It honestly doesn't make a difference that there's no pressure plate. It's perfect. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace these flat sides with some andesite, just to give us some variations in texture on the base of our windmill. This windmill design that I'm going with is going to be one that I've done before. I will link the block by block tutorial for it down in the description and or just on the side right now. If you'd like to check that out, please do. It'd be awesome for you to be able to recreate this in your world. I'm not going to be copying my tutorial exactly. I'm just gonna be kind of loosely inspired by it. I used some different blocks in that tutorial that I don't have access to here. So it's gonna be changed up, but it'll be like the general idea. So if you do wanna copy this design, you can go ahead, there's a tutorial. I'm just gonna bring this up to be even and to keep with our theme, I am going to be using um, oak wood. I don't always love oak wood as a wall, but I think it works here. And now we just have to work on the height of the windmill. This is gonna be a really important part. I think it needs to be fairly tall. I mean, we have some pretty big stuff going on. Maybe like this height, whoop, it's probably good. <laughs> My bad. All right, I'm about to go collect some more dark oak wood, but look at that windmill. I don't, it's just it's just logs right now, but I genuinely, I think it's gonna look so nice. Chopping down these big trees is so satisfying. I could do this all day. Just the sounds of Minecraft, ah, oh, so relaxing. 
right, and then up at the top here is where I'm gonna put the roof. Hopefully this is the correct height because I'm just gonna put it in now while I'm up here. Okay, what do we think so far? I kind of like it. It looks cool. I think that's about the right height that it needs to be. It's looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on getting this little side building in a little bit. And also there's another build right here that has kind of a crane on it. I'm gonna get that in as well. All right, this little building off to the side is going in beautifully. I think this is this side about done now, to be honest. And I really like how it's turned out. Let's go down and take a little look at it. Whoop, my bad. But if we look from here, yeah, that's kind of cute, right? So the big windmill blades are gonna be over this way. And then this is gonna have like a little crane and some hay, we'll maybe have a cart over here. And this right here is just gonna have slabs along it as a roof. I think that'll about do it. That's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and fill in the rest of the walls and roofs and I'll bring you back for some details afterwards. Okay, let me update you on how the windmill is looking. Look at this, grand reveal, walk through the gateway. Here is our windmill, and I absolutely love the shape of it. However, it's a little monotone. It's like, it's all kind of the same, it's a lot of oak wood, and I'm not really enjoying that. So I was trying to brainstorm what I actually have on me that I could use to kind of break that up. Cause I don't really have the mushroom blocks that I normally like, and I only have silk touch on a shovel. And not an axe, so it'd be hard to get. But I was thinking, we have a mason. And the masons can be upgraded to actually sell um, quartz. So I'm thinking we just go ahead, we upgrade our mason, and we try out quartz in this build. That'd be kind of cool. I haven't used quartz in survival in so long, because normally it's so hard to get. But this should make it pretty easy in theory. Now, all I have to do is come to this mason, and hopefully this upgrade should help. Hi, can you upgrade? There we go. Granite. Ugh, sad. Okay. I'll buy some granite from you, sure. Can you upgrade again, please? Ugh, darn it. This mason isn't selling me any quartz, which is sad. This is kind of pretty, though, I won't lie. Okay, can you upgrade again? Oh, you're running away. You're running away. Come back. Ah, there we go, quartz. Okay, perfect, you can go to bed now. Thank you very much. Okay, come here, little villager. Uh, hang on, there we go. Okay, so we have quartz pillars and we have block of quartz. I think both of those are great options. However, it is going to cost a lot. Like I can spend all 48 emeralds here. Oh, it locks out at 12. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, dude, can you refill for me? This is so tragic. <laughs> it's gonna take me so long. Okay, let me see if I can figure something out. I did have a little bit of quartz left over in here, so I'm just gonna craft that up into blocks of quartz, and that should helpfully get me started. I'm also going to get some diorite and try to blend that in a little bit and see how that goes. There's definitely a villager in here. Oh, no, zombie, I meant zombie. Excuse you, gosh. I gotta try to remember to light things up. I'm so bad about that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this top section hopefully kind of gradient out with the diorite. I don't I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. I mean, we gotta kind of break it up somehow, right? Okay, time for reveal. Uh, okay, um, it's not the worst. It's also not the best. How do you make smooth quartz? Cause I feel like I really like smooth quartz. Do you smelt it? I'm gonna go try and do that. Like what happens if I smelt this? Hopefully it turns smooth, um, please. Yes, that is smooth quartz. Okay, perfect. So that is what we are gonna do. Has the mason refilled, I wonder? Ugh. I guess if I want to build out of these blocks regularly, I'll just have to get more masons. But to be honest, that's not actually that bad. It's better than having to mine it. Um, dude, can you refill? Look at this beautiful working bench that you have. Can you please, thank you. I think a key thing to remember is that I am going to make the propellers of this windmill actually out of wood as well. They're gonna be these trap doors. So maybe it's important that that stay that white color. Oh, it's a hard call. It's a hard call to make. I'm not sure. I think I'm also going to just, just like we did in the village, I'm gonna stripe this like so. All right, while I'm waiting for all of this quartz, I'm gonna go ahead now and just put in the propellers of our windmill here and see how that looks. Cause I think that's gonna take the whole look kind of together and I'll be able to get a better idea of if I actually like the quartz. I like to give all of my windmills a slight curve. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So this one is this way and this one's gonna be the other way. 
Then all we do for the next part is just add a whole bunch of dirt and hopefully make it look like propeller shapes and then we'll put trapdoors on that. This part of a windmill is always the most painful. So that side goes up. That means this side goes down and yep. All right. <laughs> to be honest, it'd probably be easier with scaffolding, but I'm too lazy to go get scaffolding at this point. On the bright side, the castle and village look great from here. It's gonna be so cool once we get it done. And bingo, that is what the propellers look like. And honestly, those are great shapes. So now all I have to do is go in with my oak trapdoors, which is what I decided I'd like to use. Although in hindsight, I don't know why I chose oak. We were already using so much oak, um, <laughs> but it's fine. We're gonna use some oak and see if we can make this work. So you just place a trapdoor everywhere where there's dirt, basically, and then close them. Okay, the beautiful windmill is in place. I'm very, very happy with it. We do need to get like a little crane coming out the side here, but honestly, I'm not too worried about rushing through that. Like just something like this with maybe a grindstone off of it and some fence hanging down would be great. I think it's time now to head back inside the village and, oh, oh dear. Right, okay, sure. I'll fight you, but where's your captain? As per usual, I do have to make sure that I don't kill the captain. That's like the number one rule in pillager fighting. If I kill the captain, I'll trigger a raid and I don't want it. Let me just go get some flint and steel so I can burn the captain. Okay, pillagers, come on over. Come on and fight. Let's go, let's go. I have horrible aim. They're just going in circles though. Like what, what are we doing? Seriously, what are they doing? I have so many questions about the AI of this game. Um. Excuse me, sorry to break up your conversation. Yes, um, I'm over here. Hi, where did your captain go? Do any of you have a captain? Do you speak English? What is... Okay, that appears to have solved that problem. I, I don't think patrols spawn without a captain, but I don't see a captain. So here we are. <laughs> Why is it every time I wanna work on my farm? On the bright side though, farm is looking Fantastic. I mean, would you look at that? <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Right, well, sadly, no burning of any captains was needed, but I will head back inside now and get some decorations for my windmill. All right, first order of business in fixing up this little area is I'm gonna add a little chimney over here. I think right about here will be perfect. And because this is built on a diagonal, I am just gonna put it in the wall. I think that it makes the most sense to do it that way. Um, and then I'll just hop up here. Remove that, and there we go. We can just put a campfire there. Then all we need is a couple of trapdoors and it's all be fixed up. At this point, we can also go ahead and add a couple of windows. I'm not sure I'm going to add too many to this building, but a couple on the corners wouldn't hurt anybody. Of course, a few other decorations around here are going to need some leaves, maybe a few more leaves. Although we are gonna have a working area here, so not too, too many. And then we can do like a pile of hay maybe over here. And I got this from the village today, so it's actually really lucky that I have it. I wouldn't have had any hay bales on hand otherwise. That's kind of cute, right? Makes it look like more of a working area. I'm absolutely loving what this windmill looks like and I think I'm gonna call it done for right now. Um, not loving the oak walls. And I think once we get maybe mushroom blocks or something like that, we can replace it out no problem. Um, one moment, it appears we have more guests for me to uh, greet. Um, excuse me, are there any pillagers over here? It would appear so, huh? So is this two different parties or one party that got split up in a really dumb way? What are they patrolling, the water? What? Why are they like this all the time? All right, friends, come on, party. Oh gosh, no, this is a whole different party. Why? You, uh, what about this entire, oh, <laughs> I left out some quartz, my bad. But anyways, what about this entire like castle windmill set up here that is so attractive to all of you? Come on, dudes. Luckily, I get to practice all of my bow skills. It's perfect. And that's the captain. So we're, we're just gonna leave the captain be, to be honest, and go back to building. There is one other early game thing that we have not yet farmed, and that is bees. So I would like to go out to the bees that are in our forest and actually see if I can just collect some honey from them and, you know, see how everything's going and maybe potentially build some beehives around our farm. 
It could be really useful for honey. So, main thing that I need to remember is some campfires. Oh, and I'm also gonna need shears. I'll just build some. There we go. Okay, so if I can find that beehive, and hopefully it'll be full of honey, I should be able to grab some honeycomb. With the honeycomb, I can make a custom beehive. So, I see that there's a beehive out here, and this has been here since episode one, so, oh, there's no honey in it. Where'd all the bees go? Why is there no honey in it? Hello? Bees? Hmm, this is weird. I wonder if we can find another one around this area. Oh, look at these daisies as well. I would love to decorate with some of these around the farm. Oh, and there's lilies. Perfect. Sadly, I don't see any more bees, which is odd. Um, I'm gonna go over to the side over there where on episode one, I think we saw a bee that was on vacation. We're gonna go over there and see what happens. Hi cows, here you go, it's food time. You're welcome, yep, yep, yep. Now, surely there has got to be a beehive out here. I've been so active in this area, I'm surprised none of them are full with honey. This is around where I saw that bee. Oh, it's still there. Wait, can we rescue the bee? Bee, are you lost? Wait, we can form the perfect business relationship here, bee. Um, I'll rescue you from the desert and you provide me with some honeycomb. Hey, look, I have a flower. I picked it just for you, come on. All right, easy does it, easy does it. I'm also gonna put a lily of the valley in this hand. There we go. Oh, hey, look, there's another bee. Cool, it's gonna be a party. Where did that other bee just go? I literally just saw it. Oh, whoa, there's a big cave here. I've never noticed this. Come on, bee, come on. That's it, that's it. Okay, perfect. Everybody follow me. I bet this is not what you guys expected. Yeah, hardcore let's play where we breed bees. Very uh, focused, as you can tell, on winning the game here. Through the gate, that's it. Okay, do you know what? I think we're gonna keep some bees in uh, my village. Come on, come on. That's it, that's it. In the door, do you fit through a door? Uh, we can work this out, come on. One at a time, in through the door. There we go, one at a time. That's it, that's it, perfect. Okay, now can you guys make a baby bee, please? Oh, they did it! <gasps> oh, no, 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 I, I, I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please come back down. Please come back down. Oh, no. How have I ruined this already? Like, how? Come on. Over here. That's it. That's it. Okay. Brilliant. Wonderful. Love that for us. If I got three, I have got three. Okay. Friends. <laughs> We are going to come inside here, please. Don't wanna fall, easy does it, that's it. Okay, is that everybody? Oh gosh, this is so stressful. Okay, quickly switch, there. I think you're trapped inside. Uh, just destroy that. Yeah, 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 okay, everybody is inside. It's fine, it's fine, I have flowers. Do you like flowers? Yeah, you like flowers, okay. I'm, um, I'm gonna be back in a minute. Uh, let me not let the villagers let you out. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go get the beehive that is out here that is empty with my silk touch shovel and hope that that works. And then once I have it, I'll give it to the bees, I'll breed up some bees, and then I'll eventually relocate my bees to the farm and let them be free. All right, in theory, I should be able to break this. Oh, I can, perfect. Okay, why has my horse pen become an iron golem collection center? This is not what I intended for all of you. Ha, why? Oh my goodness. But at least this guy guards the door. You're the best. Oh, our street lights have turned on. It's time for me to sleep. Please, sleep. Okay, now I just have to hope that the bees stayed inside. Bees? Oh, ah. They left. Gosh darn it, bees. Hey, 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 okay, we have one. Where are your friends? The cats have gone far, they're just bees. Come on. Down we go. That's it, that's it. Okay, and I'm just gonna plop the beehive right there. See the beehive is right there. It's perfect, right? You have flowers and stuff? Where did your family go and why did they leave you? I suppose I did just literally create this family of my own accord, but, oh, hello, baby bee. Hello, yes, good. This is a great family reunion. Okay, please follow me. Don't get lost, no detours. I have a hive for you. Baby bee, come on, come on everybody. That's it, that's it. In the door, 
Huh, perfect, I did it. Okay, and everybody is in the hive. Oh, it's a happy ending, thank goodness. Um, I will just temporarily turn my home into a flower place for these guys. And we'll destroy this. Now I have to make sure that I seal this up because the villagers will open it and let them go. But it's, it's fine for now. I only need them to breed them for like a day. Well, everyone, that is going to be all for me today. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed all the building we did in it. It was a very farming focused episode. I know we didn't make a lot of forward progress, but I liked it. I think in the next episode, we'll work on getting that tunnel from the windmill to my actual home. We'll get the bees set up and then we'll move on to something that can be a little bit more progressive, like maybe some netherite or something like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I appreciate every single one of you and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone.